What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about my very first beta, beta, that I just got a couple of days ago. His name is Bumble Way. I've done tons of research and hopefully I got it right. So in this video, we're going to go over how I take care of my beta, my setup, the home that I provided for him, and an honest conversation I had with a PECO employee about how they take care of their betas. You guys let me know which one. Is it beta or is it beta? I feel like both of them is right. Actually, we're gonna consult YouTube. Beta fish. All right. Fish. Okay. <laughs> beta. Beta. <laughs> That'd be not it. Beta. It looks like you can pronounce it beta or beta, so... I'm gonna stick with better. You better believe I got a new better. Once you look at them, you just can't help but to fall in love with them. It's just dope, you know? One look at them, they're like, oh, they're so cute, they're so colorful. But they're more than that, they have so much personality. It's almost like having a little water puppy. So after I got them, my first task was to name them. So I was with my girlfriend and we were like, she was hungry, she didn't know what she wanted to eat, per usual. <laughs> we went to get Viet and one of my favorite dishes at Viet is the Bomba Way. Uh, it is a noodle beef soup and my girl was like, oh, that's kind of cute. You should name your fish that. I'm like, hmm, I should. And speaking of Bumble Way, I'm actually kind of hungry. Can I get a Bumble Way? I figure it's kind of appropriate because the fish is from Southeast Asia anyways, possibly from Vietnam. Uh, and I gave him a Vietnam. I think I'm a better person with this new better. Bumble Way's home is a 8.6 gallon Landon Rimless Shadow Low Boy Tank. That is a mouthful, wow. The tank measures 24 inch by 12 inch by seven inches tall. And I feel like there's more than enough room for him. Even though I have a bunch of hardscape in there, he has more than enough room to kind of like freely swim around. He also have like nooks and crannies. Like if you do decide to be sad one day and then just want to hide and just want to, and don't want to see nobody. So good. Now I purposely got the Nano HOB filter just because I know bettas don't like to be in high flow areas. Like they struggle to swim. They'll get tired out. They'll be like dead or something. Also what I got is a submersible heater. Uh, it is like preset to 78 degrees, like you can't really adjust it, which kind of sucked, but it was cheap, it was like 11 bucks, so I got it at Petco too. And I decided to get them a, a variety of food, not variety, just two varieties right now. I got these pellets. Let me know what you guys think about these pellets. I feel like he, he don't like it that much. I also got him this, blood worms. He loves this. This not so much. He'll eat it, but he'll eat it, spit it out, eat it again, like I'm forcing him to eat or something like that. Yeah, he came in this. It is kind of sad. But the thing is, I spoke with a Petco employee and asked him about how they take care of their bettas. They informed me that they do water changes two to three times a week, depending on how dirty the container is. I'm like, so what about the water quality? Isn't the water quality changing all the time and wouldn't that stress the better? Well, I think that they use like a particular type of water. It's not our old water, but it is filter water coming out of the tap. It's a process that takes out the nitrate, the phosphates, and ammonia, and obviously the chlorine and chloramine. And in terms of how long the beta stays on the shelf, it could go anywhere from a couple of days to a week or, you know, all the way until they die. Then I follow up with my last question, which is how many beta fish actually die? He mentioned out of the 50 that they get on a weekly basis, three to four will die. You see those videos out there of people going like, oh, I'm gonna go to Petco or PetSmart or my big chain store and I'm gonna buy every single better and I'm gonna save them all. What is the point of that? The thing is, you go in there and buy them, Petco or PetSmart, they could go in there and be like, all right, time to replenish.
I mean, you guys let me know, you know, that's just my thoughts. So don't put me on a cross with this. The thing that we need to be more cognizant about is when you do buy a better fish to educate that buyer to make sure that particular better has a great home. That's the thing that we could control. The other things is kind of tough to control. People want to buy it. They supply it. They do their best to keep it alive. Could they do better as in have bigger tanks for their better fish? Yes. I think that's the thing that you should protest. A bigger home for the betters, I mean, at least a one or two gallons, I feel like is appropriate as a temporary home before somebody actually comes in the store and buy them out. Uh, a container is, is really legit, like sad. If you guys are happy that he's happy, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and please subscribe for future videos like this and much, much more.